Hello, welcome in. I'm Boss Lady B, and we're going to take a moment to just talk about research. I'm going to cover a lot of subjects. We're going to do a longer form video as well, but I just want to hit the highlights so that if you're jumping into the game or returning to the game, you can kind of learn what Update 10 has to offer you as far as the research goes. Tech in this game is a key component of how you progress. The idea, of course, is to eventually get up to a tech level where you can zap that asteroid out of the sky. To do that, you have to research. So one of the first tables that you create that absolutely has to be indoors is the research table. It can be made over on the workbench, which is one of the first things that you create. To make it, you just need to get some fiber, to get fiber, you need a sickle. Uh, you can get that sickle over on your tool bench. You can craft that, and then you can go out and you can gather grass or salal or other things, moss and things like that. Uh, you can gather fiber. With that fiber, you will be able to combine that with logs and stone and make yourself this beautiful little research table. So uh, once you have that, you have to place it inside in at least a minimum of like a five by five square. Uh, you need a three by three zone inside. So your basic, your first basic house will probably house the research table. That's what happens on most servers. But uh, so this is a really key thing to get into. Uh, a lot of people may put it to the side, but this is really a key component to the eco gameplay. Once you have your research table, you open it up and there's all this different stuff. So there are three different types of things that you are going to be researching on this table. You're going to be researching papers, you're going to be researching books, and you're going to be researching modules. Papers, think of them like the sheets inside the book. The papers uh, take materials from the world, you're researching them, you're looking into them, you're learning about these materials, and then you're compiling them together into a book. We will get into modules kind of at the end because I think that's a little bit above the basic level. This is just trying to get you into the game, how to use it, and then you can dive in or you can you can go deeper in if you need to. Let's talk about a particular sheet of paper that you want to research. I'm going to pick the the geology paper, okay? So if I want to research the geology paper, which is this one right here, I need to have some stone on hand. Uh, for me, each paper takes 30 pieces of stone. So you can pick up 20 at a time when you're mining. So that's one and a half loads of stone into your stockpile that you will need to be able to make this. Now I'm going to make three of these because I know that we are going to need three for the project we want to do. So we're going to queue those up. All right. So we've got three, three papers queued up. The yellow on the bottom is the work. The blue on the top is the materials. If we were missing materials, it would show up over there on that side. Now, I am not actually going to make this book because I have already made it when we were doing the longer form of this tutorial, but I'm going to queue it so that you can see what it looks like. So now we have queued up the masonry skill book and you can see over here it's saying we need three, three geology papers, we need three gathering papers and 300 labor. So you would have to, in most cases, early game, go and find someone who had taken on the gathering profession and then ask them to make you three gathering papers. Or if you want to be completely self-sufficient, you wait until you get another star and then you get gathering. I would not suggest that though. We're going to do a whole tutorial on professions and choosing which path you want to take through the tech tree. So I would suggest stick with mining, then go masonry. So find, find the person who you can get the gathering papers from. We're just going to click them because we're later in the game right now. Obviously this is not a fresh start server. Uh, so I'm going to just queue up three gathering papers right now. We don't have any raw food tags. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to cancel the book because we actually do not need to make a second book. We already have it. So what will happen once you gather those papers, once you coordinate, you get everybody to get those papers together, you have the book, the book gets made that will go into your storage. 
that will go into the storage that's at the top when you're looking in the table. For example, I have all my books here, as you can see, many, 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 many different things. Uh, if I wanted to have it go into that chest, I could just click and drag the storage. Really helpful just to organize where your things are going. In this example, I've already made the masonry book. So once it is made, it will go into your inventory or into your storage. You keep that. Now you get to basically tear out a page uh, and give it to someone else or give it to yourself to learn that profession. At this stage, it does not cost you anything to give those pages or make those pages. So I can right click and it will create a new item that is a masonry skill scroll. I can click this as many times as I'd like. You can make a hundred, you can make a million, you can make as many as you would like. Now, once you have that, you would right click it and I already have learned it, but you would right click it and it would say, you now know masonry. That does not mean that you've taken on the masonry profession. It just means you have the potential to do that. So I'm going to turn off my camera. See you guys for a second. Down here, we have our stars. And when you are able to learn a new profession, a star will pop up here. Once you have that star available, and that's your XP, which is based on a whole bunch of things that we won't go into that detail right now. You can go and you can put that into any profession that you have access to. We're going to pick one that I don't have access to so you can see what this looks like. Hunting. So you will have the ability, you have a star and you could put that into hunting. There's a button that says learn now. You would click that if this was masonry. You would click that. Actually, I don't think we have masonry, so you can see it right there. You would click it and then it would unlock it for you. When you unlock something, it allows you to progress up through the different levels the more you use it. Uh, let's pop back. Hi. Uh, so it allows you to do different things depending on what uh what you're looking for so i'm i went carpentry so i did logging and carpentry and as you go through the first thing is you get to choose at level three between whether you want multiple benches or a singular bench i went with a singular bench in this case so i went with the focused workflow um other things, especially with cooking, I highly suggest taking multiple because you're going to have a lot of different tables to make it efficient. As you go through in masonry, carpentry, any of these like building, crafting sort of things, you're unlocking different recipes as well. So you can see all of that here in your skill book, which is really fantastic. So that's kind of basically the, the overarching idea with research. You research something, you get the book, then you get the scroll. The scroll allows you to take and put a star into that profession. You can give these scrolls to people willy nilly. You can charge for them. You can trade them. You can swap them. You can do whatever you want. Keep your book though, because the book is what allows you to make more scrolls. So I would highly suggest hang on to that book because you're going to want to keep that. Okay. The last piece that we're going to get into. So if, if your brain is full, if you're already feeling like, whoa, boss lady, this is a lot of information. Just take it a little bit at a time. Go make your first book and your first skill scroll. Tell me how it goes. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you need help with that. Uh, we will be able to hopefully walk you through that. Um, now, if you are, you're like, I got it. I want to know what that third component is. Let's dive into the, the modules. So there are four levels of upgrade modules and you're going to see that each one uses different papers, different sorts of things go into it. Of course, the server is disconnecting a little bit. We're just getting toward that. Uh, so it goes different levels, right? What this does is it makes your tables more efficient. So for example, we're sticking with masonry. You have your masonry table, which you will, you will make, uh, and inside your masonry table, if you, of course the server is B, 
being a little slow right now. Uh, inside your masonry table, there is a tab up at the top that says modules. You'll be able to put in the upgrade one, the upgrade two, the upgrade three, the upgrade four. Once you get the four, you can make a specialized module for your bench and the the epitome so this is the end of that process you get 50 percent uh more efficiency with materials so that means you use half as much stone mortar all of that and you it takes half as much time so say a mortared stone takes me a minute normally to craft it would take 30 seconds so these are very, very, very powerful. They give you a really big leg up. It also reduces your impact on the environment. So going with the, the theme of eco, you're being more eco-friendly by having these modules. They are no joking matter though to make. They take a lot of coordination between multiple professions on a multiplayer server where the stars are a little bit slower. You are going to be working really hard with other players to get these things going. Um, most communities work towards this because it's to everyone's benefit to have these modules in your work tables and uh, it's not absolutely necessary but it does help a lot so take a look at it see if you want to use it and um, get get into that because you're gonna want these in your tables and you're going to want to get to the, the upgrade four so that you can get your specialty ones for each table Okay, so that was a lot. This is a just one tiny part of the game. As you can tell, it connects to so many other things such as what profession should you choose? What route should you go? Uh, how do you manage storage? How do you, how do you kind of set up your storage to be able to uh, pull things, sort things, do all of that? Uh, we hope to be able to create more tutorials like that and uh, of course for me as a content creator it's definitely good motivation if this is helpful for you so take the chance if you made it to this point in the video let me know what you thought whether this was helpful if you have any questions about research and uh, learning tech in eco as of update 10.